Well, here I go. I'm going to get ready to get ready to tackle this trail that is no more. Whoops, I'm already stumbling here. It looks like I've got a lot of work to do. I'm not sure how many weeks or days it'll take me to get back to the creek, but I'm determined. This uh this big tree there is probably the biggest thing I might have to deal with. Wow, it just changed everything back here. Hope I don't run into anything scary. Lots of things got washed over here. <clears throat> well, might as well get to it. A lot of destruction. Whew. It's actually going incredibly well. I've only been working at this 15 minutes. And as you can see, I've already been pretty cleared out here. I had to go up and get my other here for this over here. My shoulders might not feel very well tonight. But Blackberry thorn. Um, it's not going to be too hard. Really? You can almost see the creek again. So, yeah. It's not too bad. some sharper gardening tools. That would really be nice. Hey, I'm almost there. Yeah. I'm excited to see my creek again. And I'm even more excited that this isn't as much work as I thought it was going to be. Wow. Thank you, Lord. I might get to take a chair out there this afternoon and watch my creek. Yay. Well, check it out. I'm almost to the end. But I wanted to... Ouch. I wanted to video I'm trying to get this big tree. That one that I thought was going to be the problem was already broke and it was just easy to lift right out. So I am going to try to get this. This, this stump here is still attached. There. So I'm to get it out of the way. I just got thorns in my jeans, but we're almost to the creek, and that's what matters, right? Almost there. I've missed this creek it's two weeks now since it. Flooded. Well, I'm really excited about seeing it again. We have some new things in our trail because actually where I am blazing this trail is not where the old trail was because the old trail was there, sort of. But 
all the stuff and debris is laying over where the old trail kind of was. So, I'm going to kind of cut a new, new section a little bit. Kind of get hot. My other clippers. Here we are. have a little more work to do to get it nice again but it sure sure changed what this looks like that's for sure it's definitely not as pretty as it was so in the spring I hope all the new growth grows up and no, there's a lot of dead stuff in there because of the trees that broke. It may take years for it to look nice again. That's the way it goes. We're still better off than the people with Hurricane Sandy, so I'm not going to complain. Got tangled up in a berry bush there. It's just a beautiful creek. I'm glad to see it up close and personal again. I gotta go get Herb so he can see this wondrous sight. I am done for the day. I did get that big, the big one out that was along here, that was across here. And I stuck it over there. It was just hanging on by the bark back in there where the beaver had already cut it and it was just barely hanging on so I just bent it backwards and cut the bark got it out so here it is right here and uh, it'll be interesting to see if the beaver comes and takes this willow to his dam because that's what he seems to like the most is the willow actually he eats the bark off of it sometimes leaves the twigs behind but we'll see what it looks like tomorrow he may or may not come interesting to find out we noticed this whole entire uprooted tree roots and all up on top of all the bushes so that had to have come from down upstream somewhere to down here and got deposited on top of the bushes that water was so powerful, so I could all but imagine what the people with Hurricane Sandy felt in New Jersey. That had to have been awful, and it still is awful for them. Because this is just like a grain of sand of what they're experiencing. It makes me thankful, very thankful. So... Glad to share this with you. Hope you're not bored.